Okay, I think we're live. Okay. There we go. Let the TikTok people know we're live on Twitch, too. And we're going to start a new game because uh, the sound was messed up on the last one. So you might not see that. It's probably in the replays, but I probably won't post it. Um, we were pretty happy with the world we were on. Um, let's see here. So we're going to pick a new world. We're going to make a new world, but we might use the same one. Um, I was looking around at this guy, this desert world. It is pretty good. Um, we'll probably go back to the one we were on. I think that was pretty nice. Although we could look at this. Um, ooh. We could look at doing a rocky desert. Although I kind of like the northern forest. Unless we want to go to the dune desert. I don't know. Let's go back to the, rock, the northern forest. Because we didn't really give that a fair shake. I don't think. Well, let's go rocky desert. Just to mix it up. Okay, we're going to do... Well, I don't know. I guess we could even do the grass fields, but foliage and water rare contain. I think we can make that work with the desert one. So let's name that. Let's name it. What's a good desert name? Um. Hmm. We'll name it. Um. What's up, Lower Master? Um, well, there you go. We'll just call it Lore Prime. That's the name of the planet. Okay. Uh, skip the tutorial and start game. Uh, fine, that's fine. All right. So the sad part is the first time I played this, I didn't really know what I was doing as much. So it's kind of comical in that way. Now I know more how to do things. So... There, that's the thing. Um, I definitely know more how to do things. So I also learned I can scan for iron and copper. So let's scan for iron. And then let's scan for copper. And try to go where there's both. Mm. Also, presents fall from the sky. And I haven't fully figured out how to use those. It seems like there's a decent area that way. And there's a decent area that way. Um, and it looks like there's trees over there. Let's, uh... Hmm. Woo! Okay. So, let's look for copper. Make sure. Alright, so that's copper. And that's copper. Now let's look for iron. Is there an iron that way, too? Yes, there's two irons. So we're going to head that direction, I guess. Um... And now I can't hardly hear the game sounds. Uh, hopefully this doesn't mess up the stream sound. See about turning it up. Actually, hold on. Let me go into uh wait, Windows T. Go into Volume Mixer. And take me to Sass. Oh yeah, Sass. Uh, Okay, so don't want it too loud. We'll do that. Okay. And let's double check the audio sound here. Okay, you should just barely be able to hear the game sound. I might turn it up a little bit. See if that's better in there. Desktop audio. These speakers, okay. Now, I'm not seeing that picking anything up. Checking the properties here. Yep, that should be good. So hopefully that's fine on the stream. If you guys are in the, the Twitch chat, let me know if you can't hear the game sounds at all or if there's any audio issues so we can kind of tweak it in real time. But let's get back into the game. So there's also these presents that you can pick up that are kind of getting airdropped in. So basically, if you're kind of uninitiated, um, we're, we're live on Twitch right now. Uh, it's also probably going to be on YouTube. Um, but if you're, if you're uninitiated to this game, this is satisfactory. 
And here, I'll show you a little bit on the TikTok um, blip. So we're stranded on this as alien desert. Our job is to survive, but basically to get a to just ruin the environment as much as possible, to make a big giant factory and start automated automatically producing a bunch of components and then technology. And oh boy, okay, there's an animal. I gotta fight. I gotta fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hear growling. But all I have to fight with is this taser thing. Um, really, it's just like a little poker. The good news is, I think that's iron. There's two iron there. But I don't see where the thing that was growling is. Usually these little resource nodes are, are guarded to start off. Um, I also don't know if these are the ones I want to ultimately go. I see one over there. You see that bad guy? Okay, let's... um. So we know this is iron. Is there more in the distance? Yeah, because I was going for that. I want to say it's copper. Um, but there's also trees over there. So let me um give me a scan for some copper. Is it copper that way? Okay, now, but there's copper right over there. For some ways. So I don't know if I want to fight that thing yet for the iron. I'm going to go check out what the copper situation is. Oh, but we need to gather this food. Uh-oh. 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 I mean, I guess I could kill it. Ooh. Hold on. There you go. I guess I could try to kill it, but... Okay, it's coming. Get wrecked. They're fast. I'm not that fast. Come here, you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, no. All right, it's dead. And then you get these. I don't really know how to use these yet. But now there's one less of those in the world. And it looks like there's a resource right here. It's probably guarded. But there's also some food. Now, the food helps us heal. So we definitely want to have that. We want to get a supply of that so we can be a little cocky with these fights. Is this iron again? Oh, there's limestone. I don't see a guard here yet. But so at first, you got to kind of manually get some stuff. Um, I guess you don't really. Um, but you can automate the entire process. Let's see. These little like runoff nodes like this, you just have to do by hand, I think. And they get depleted. And then on top of this part here, this is permanent. This is unlimited. But then there's this little spiky spike that I can pick up now. That is that is not um, unlimited. So, but I have to do this first, real quick, and then I have a few options. So, at first, you start, and you can make these little quick, little dirty. Um, you don't need power or nothing. Um, little auto mining devices, and they're this little robot guy. So he'll sit there, and he'll go up, and then he'll start mining. You know, okay, it's like so. And he'll start doing that, and then. You can take stuff and it gets filled up, but he'll just go forever until he gets full. Then he'll stop and he'll wait for me. Um, but so we'll just leave him and maybe we'll come back to that and it'll be full. Um, but we're just going to kind of keep exploring. I see some more berries over there. I really do want to get up a good supply right off the bat here to help combat the fighting we're going to have to do. Because it takes quite a while to get any kind of better, um, any kind of better fighting tool than what we got, which I need to put that back in my hand. We got 15 of those berries now, so that's pretty nice. Um, but this thing is definitely not the best, and there are some creatures that would be really good to have something with range. Um, really good. You can also get vehicles, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, you guys are going to see. We're looking for a good place to put our base. Um, I really am, I'm going to need uh, probably a decent amount of foliage to have the initial electricity set up. Because you do turn leaves and woods into biomass, and then you have a machine that turns that biomass into fuel. I see a couple nodes over there. And I see some trees up the hill. Ooh. Um, and now, so this limestone, use that for concrete. And we're going to need that um, fairly quickly. We just need to get some of the basics set up. And then I want to advance uh, the tech tree a little bit. Because there is like a tech tree, which I have to wait till we get our starter base put down to show you. Um, but we'll be able to kind of advance through the technology. And basically, you just you get your automation figured out for each kind of component. And there's hundreds of components. 
um, which you'll see soon, uh, some more of that. But um, you get that figured out, and then you like you send some of those up to space, and in exchange, they teach you how to make things. So there's a guard there. Um, let me get some more of this. I need this to make the base eventually, to make some concrete. The starter base, not so much, but uh, I will need it to make some something I want to build here, and you'll see that. Blip, blip, blip. So we know that there's ore over there, but I saw I need to figure out where exactly we're going to put the base down. So I saw some trees up this way. We're going to head up this canyon. Woo! Oops. Uh, blip, blip, blip. And we, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the leaves and the wood, basically. Okay, so I think that's copper. This is going to be a great view right up here. So if we look down here, as you can see, there's a resource there. There's one there. It looks like there's one way out there. There's one there, there, and there. And then there's woods over there. So, I'm just trying to think, how do I want to play this? So, let me get an even better view. If I can climb over here, maybe somehow. Do, 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 do. If you look over there, there's like, and I'll show you. Why not take a quick little stroll this way? Uh, there's some green fog. Now, that's toxic. We can't really go in there or start taking health damage. But, um, ooh, there's a, a blue slug I can't really get from here. Um, but So that stuff is bad. That will hurt. But you can get, like, a hazmat suit. Ooh, you see that? That's some wreckage, and there's going to be great components there. So if we can get up on top of this ridge and work our way over there somehow, we could get some really good, 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 good jump start on our game here. Um, and I think we can. Now, that's probably almost certainly guarded, and it might need something to get the best loot out of it. But there should be some stuff just scattered on the ground we can get for free at the start here. Blah, blah, blah. Um, boy, I don't know. Now that I'm over here, I think we're going to have to wait till we have a little bit better technology so we can build a ramp. But we got to remember that that's there. But also, there's something right there. I'm not sure if that's copper or what. Um, ooh. I kind of wonder, right on top of that thing, might... I mean, it's kind of out of the way a little bit, but it is kind of cool. Let me see. So put our base. And we can move our base. We probably will move our base several times as we get more technology and have to upgrade things. But, ooh. Good. Okay, cool. So we got... Um, a forest, Woo. which is what we were looking for. Oh, you can see a big alien down there, kind of like an elephant. It's kind of dorky. You'll see it more later. Uh, but we got all this forest area to access for biomass. Um, we have a decent flat area here. Blip, blip, blip. And we have this bridge. So I'm picturing one day our whole factory will just span this. All the way down. And that will be our thing that we do. But let's get let's just walk out here and take a look. Okay. What do we got out here? Cool. Cool. I like this. I think we'll put our, our base here. And then that's the edge of the world, I think, way over there. So that's kind of ugly, um, but that's fine. Um, we won't look that way. I feel like we definitely get that slug. But I can't get that until I can build a platform that can go over there. Um, so, for now, let's take and make our hub. Now, this is the starter base, but it's also, I think it's important throughout the whole game. So, how do we want to lay this out? And again, I am prob almost certainly going to move this because we need to learn foundations and stuff. Uh, but we need to learn those, like I said. So let's um, let's just to see. Let's put it there. That work for me. That will work for me. Okay. Now, so this is the how you advance in tech. So as you can see, there's base building. There's this, and there's this. Um, whoa. Oh, here you go. See. So he's bringing me. To, he's coming down to me, and that thing's gonna land, and dock with my base. Um, and that's kind of like a drop pod. So whenever I want to send some materials up to whoever the fuck stranded me down here with nothing, 
in exchange for some more stuff um, that's going to fly up there. So that's going to be our first major goal here is to get uh, some of this stuff. Um, big thing I want probably is this first. So we need 200 concrete. We have enough plates and we need more rods. So uh, we are going to have to do some automated stuff probably. Can we get to the 200 concrete with what we have? So this is the handcrafting menu. This is how you start. This all gets automated with machines later. And there's a lot of stuff you can't do, but let's just see how much concrete we can get out of what we have. Um, if that's the case, then all we really need is to get some iron made up. And hopefully we can get that base building thing first. And then we're going to go from there uh, on everything else. Let's see. Well, we're going to do uh, an actual proper miner here soon, too. Let's see. I don't think we're going to get to 200, but we might as well do what we can. So yeah, I just hit space and it's automatically doing this. You can also do it one at a time. I'm actually just, whoo, so you guys can see here, I'm just selecting what I want to build over here. So start doing those iron ingots. It's called Satisfactory. You can watch on Twitch and it has more information. Which is anybody in the Twitch stat? While this is crafting? Show pop out. Oh, hi. I don't know how to get like, ooh. Okay, okay. I don't know how to get um, the chat to stay up in the game, but I'm sure I could figure that out eventually. Uh, but, but, okay. So, we made all of our iron. We got all this stuff. Um, let's see. Now, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to take the, make one of these power we're going to need to make a miner. And we're going to need to make uh, a constructor. So, because we need to make... We need to find more concrete. Steel plates are easy. Those are easy. Um, but we need to get the iron to do so. So let's start... Um, let's build a setup to do that. It'd be nice. Sure would be nice if there was iron closer than the first stuff we found. What's this? 256 meters to four, four, 262. Okay, so that's the closest iron. Woo! All right, that'll be fine. Okay, so you see that green by the present, that's copper. And then over there, is like a gray, that's iron. So we can build conveyor belts. So we're gonna build a copper mine and an iron mine, and we're gonna build conveyor belts all the way back up here. So let's go do that. And I will take fall damage, which I might be okay with, but I think we can just kind of skirt our way around here. Blip, 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 blip. And I'm gonna need all this for power as we go. And there's probably some bad guys over here, so we're probably going to have to fight. Uh, but that, uh, I don't need the copper first. And because the iron enables me to build other stuff, we're going to do the iron first. We do need to find more limestone. If we could find a limestone deposit, that'd be good. And we can scan for one. But the biggest thing we need to do is get this iron. Ooh, there's a little cave over there. That's kind of a cool cave. We'll have to check that out here in a second. Um, but uh, this looks not evil. Uh, so let's build a miner. So this is how you build. You just select what you want to make. Um, and then there's the output arrow here, as you can see. So you place that. Little drones or something build it. I don't know. Um, and then we're going to want to feed that into... Well, we'll do all the building up there. Um, build me a craft bench down here, just in case things get a little... I don't have to run all the way back up to make some stuff. Blah, blah, blah. This is all I really need. Um, from the hub at this exact moment to keep me going. So it's good to have that. Um, and then let's give it some power. Well, we'll put the power back up at the base, I guess. Um, well, we'll do it. We'll make one for now. Just in case. And we'll, we'll remove it later. And I can show you how to do power. So you select power line, you click that. 
I'm actually going to put a pole down. So these poles can have four connections off of them. Um, only four. And these things can have one. So this way I can split off that biomass burner into some other equipment if need be. Um, which perhaps it will. Okay, so then you go in here and you insert some fuel. And now that's running and the drill's going to activate. And this will go and go and go and go. And it's going to start pumping out. And here, you'll put a conveyor belt on there. Boom. And you'll see it starts pumping out iron. So, um, let's see. What do I need for the conveyor belt? Do I think I have enough steel plates? Um, I can make more steel plates. So, let's just give it a, a good old college try here. So, I click and pull up to go high. And so, that's going to just start pushing my stuff. And we're going to start heading home. So, click. And pull up. Wait, click and pull up. And another fun thing. Let me get this kind of close. And I'll tell you another fun thing. They can only go so long with it at a time. But pretty long. Is I can use these intermediately to get pretty dang high. Hmm. We're going to need to kind of get an angle on it. Can I go this way? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on, little girl. There you go. Okay, so right here. And then just go as high as you can. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, da da Why can't I click it? Can't afford. So I'm out of steel plates. So that's fine because you see all that flowing along there? That's iron. So as soon as I can get back up there, we're going to have plenty of iron. And then we're going to go to the crafty bench. And we're going to make more steel plates by hand. And then we'll have enough, hopefully, to get this up to the base where we can start turning this into materials without having to craft by hand. So let me just collect along this. And this was the other thing I was going to say is once this is done, it's going to be a quick little path for me. And I can honestly even stand still and just ride it really slowly. So we can pump this all into a container for us, um, but we're just going to do it like this. Do I see some food there? Um, that's probably enough. Let's get the food. Okay, now let's go back to our crafting bench. I guess it's down here. Who, who mad? Somebody mad. I don't know who mad, but I don't appreciate it. I do not appreciate it. So, we got the scrapping bench. Um, Make a bunch of those for a minute here. Woo! Woo! Yeah, this is satisfactory and we're live on Twitch. Okay, that didn't make us that much. Woo! But we have a lot of iron to make. We have 82, so go ahead and make those up. What do we got? We got 27. Might be just enough, but we need to have quite a few, ultimately. So, we'll just go ahead and make a bunch of these. Oops. 30. And again, it, it all automates, so you'll just... Once you get your setup for one component, you can have that forever. And there's a ton more components than what's in this list. Um... Make those. And we'll go ahead and make some biomass real quick for our generator. Um blah 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 blah. I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, because we're out of power already, but that should feel the biomass should be a more efficient fuel than uh the leaves themselves. Or the wood leaves wood, that kind of thing. Anything bi biologic. Um but we're gonna just collect a bunch of this iron to take with us too. And we're gonna go hopefully finish the ramp. Finish the conveyor. So, I mean, as you guys can see, woo, woo, don't fall, fall off. It's kind of similar to what I do, you know? We're surviving. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit, what I do? I didn't mean to do it like that. So, if you need to remove it, you just hit F, turns orange, hold that, bam, you pick that up too. Put up, put up.
Now from here, I need to get up here, physically. So let me try that. Can I get up over here? Without getting poisoned? Might get poisoned a little. Okay, we're fine. Hey, a present. Still haven't found the concrete we're looking for. But we will. But let's just focus on getting the iron set up for now. We have enough concrete to do that. Okay, so over this way. And it does get dark. So it is getting dark. That's not fun. It definitely feels like the day is longer than the night. So that's cool. I'll take that. Okay, so over here. Um, clicked up to that. And then just come right up here. And there is some rules to it, like as far as the height and stuff of the slope that you can achieve. Can I get you over there and just walk across? Pretty close. And it won't go flying off. It needs somewhere to go. It's the tops. It's smarter than that. Oh, but I'm out of iron plates. But that's fine. At least we got back this way. Let me get a little bit more of this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now though, now, come over here. Keep coming. Dang presents. Um, should be easy. We need to make just a few plates real quick so we can make. Actually, we don't need any plates, so we have a constructor. So. Place this down here. And I'm going to tell it. First, I'm going to give it power. And so this is a, a smaller version of that other one that's built into the initial base. Give it a bit of power. Tell it, hey, I want you to make iron plates. And then I'm going to tell it. I'm just going to manually give it a little bit of iron. And then also, um, smelter. So the raw iron... We'll go into a smelter, and we're going to have to rearrange all this later once we get some floors and the factory started. Um, but for our initial kind of survival setup, this will have to connect up to there. But for now, it doesn't. Um, what is that power line? Um, actually, hold on. I want to have a split. Couple splits. Blat. Blat. Okay, so now the smelter will work. So we're gonna put in, tell it to make iron, and then we're gonna give it iron ore. It can hold 100 at a time. And it's smelting it up for us. And it's gonna be able to spit out, but we need to get it making some stuff first. Um, you just don't even have enough to get started yet, so you will, though, soon. And this. Uh, blip. So now I have eight. And then once we get enough to make a, make a quick little conveyor belt between these two, um, that will be automated, and then once we hook up the ore to the smelter, the whole thing will be automated, and it can go, we can add a container. Uh, now it has no power. Still can't afford, which is fine. Um, I'm going to give some more fuel into it. Which we can make those manually to finish that up, but we might have to go find some fuel. A little bit of wood. Hopefully that's enough. Because we will go on a fuel getting mission here in a second. Is that enough? I need nine. I'm going to get nine. Just barely. However, that's fine. Alright, so that's going to go in there. Now that part is automated. However, if we run out of power, whoops. If you run out of power, it's not. Which we will, eventually. Um, but we won't, because we're going to go get that stuff now. So, while that's cooking anyways, let's go down and try to collect a bunch of plant matter. And make some biomass. Uh, we could also make a biomass factory that can process it for us into more efficient biomass instead of just the loose stuff. Um, but we are going to make some ramps to get up and down from here from basically every direction we might travel. Let's just gather up as much of this shit as we can for now. 
especially also late for the night. And we got to find some more limestone, so this might be a good way to do that. Uh, and just kind of explore for a minute. But we definitely need to have a lot of power, so we're going to need a bunch of this stuff. We don't have any other power options for a while, but there are plenty. Um, I think I can might be able to use coal if I find a coal deposit. I hear bad guys. I see things. What's up here? What am I hearing? Oh, boy. See, they shoot, these guys shoot like acid or something. Woo, or fire. Ooh. Ooh. These are one of the tougher ones I've come across, but they're not too bad if you focus in on them real tight. Um, now's a good opportunity, actually, to eat and get healed. And just spam the heck out of these while I'm collecting this stuff. I don't know what he was guarding. We should actually go back and look, because they usually are guarding something of interest. Diff various different things. Not sure. Get my whip. Well, finish healing real quick. Like, is there something over here worth worth guarding? Close enough. Or like, ooh, there's some berries. Like, what, what, what was he looking after here? Is that it? I think that's it. Some cat, cat caridium ore. Let's take that with us. A little rock sample. I don't think we have use for it quite yet, but maybe eventually. Um, okay, so we were going to go into the woods, though. And we got distracted with that fight. Doo -doo -doo. I don't like the noises I'm hearing. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, there's a glowing slug thing, though. I don't really fully understand these, besides that we kind of want them. All right, he's definitely mad at me. Um, which is fine. Ooh! Oh, there's a limestone deposit. Perfect. That's going to be our unlimited source of concrete. So let's go ahead and... Eh, eh. Yeah, so fished... Fished... Whatever you say is like a name of this like weird super corporation... That sent us here, and everything's like branded with fish, with an F S C H T something like that. You get the idea. Um, but we're just gonna get a ton. How much inventory space do we have? Plenty. We might even just fill that up real quick, and just we're just passing spamming. Ooh, what's this? Oh, those are trees. You can get a chainsaw and get further biomass and stuff, but you gotta level up to have that. And we're not there yet. Um, blah, 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 blah. We will go ahead and collect some of that limestone, too. But let's just do this real quick first. How are we looking? We're getting a decent amount. And we're not going to be able to see enemies very well that we're running into in this stuff. A smarter man than me might kind of stay into a small area and collect this stuff out. But uh, I'm just kind of running around like random. So we're also exploring. do 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 and I'll just fight anything that tries to fight me. I will say, this world is supposed to be like the hard world because it has um, a lot less vegetation for this reason. But, I, I mean, it wasn't that far of a walk. And it seemed to be perfectly easy. There's a different color slug over there I kind of want um, to find a ton of plant matter. I mean... Definitely not as much as other worlds, but I got enough for my starter base here. Ooh, why am I, like, stuck? And I'm going to get a bunch more on the way back, but I want this. Is it guarded? It is, but can I get it? I think I can. Thank you. And I'll be leaving. Actually, is he coming for me? I don't know. But I'll take this. Why not? We need to go find that limestone, too, on the way back, and keep, we'll just gather up a bunch more stuff on our way through. I'm sure there's a way to use, like, actual water and pump it around somehow. I don't know yet. I'm not that far. I hear an animal. So we're just going to kind of move. Oh, there's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. There's two of them. Two of them get a little harder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They out of the grass. Can't see them in the grass. Okay, one down. Where's his friend? They circle. Get wrecked. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then there's some kind of demon here. Which I don't think this is implemented in the game. The game's still like under development. Where 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 even are we? I mean home is this way. It's always on the top of the screen there. That's good. Yeah, we're going, we're heading towards home. There should be a limestone somewhere along the way that we're going to mine up for a second. It might be kind of boring for a second when we do that, but um, we do need to get at least that 200 concrete plus whatever while we're building our initial setup here um, until we can get uh, the upgraded base material. But I'm pretty sure it was around here somewhere. Oh, there, we get a close look at one of these things for you. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty stupid looking. They got their little suction cups. I've never tried to fight one. Oh, boy, they're fast. And they're kind of getting caught up on these trees. All right. Well, we'll just let them go, maybe. It's more of this weird rock we don't know how to use yet. That, there's not like meat that you get as far as I can tell you can get alien organs which you can use for stuff and that's probably what we would have got from him but mm, I don't know what that is um, they have some alien trees but it's daytime at least so we were able to get through the night doing that what alright somewhere around here there was limestone I'm guessing it's this 30 meter one right here. Let's see. So we need to get, I don't know how much, at least 200 actual raw. I don't know how many it takes to make one off the top of my head. Um, but we'll just get a good amount. It goes pretty quick, seems like. At 63. And I would put a miner down here to speed this up, but I don't have the stuff with me. I don't have the iron. Hopefully there's a decent amount of that waiting for us back at home, but we didn't put power on it. But once we get power going there for a while, we'll be good. But it's nice to get enough. At least get 100. We'll get 100 for now. Okay, we're at 100. And we'll remember where this is. Ooh, berries. Let's go home. So we can finish up. Now we have plenty of power, hopefully. I get up here. Who, who are you? Maybe. It's either a great way to climb or a great way to get stuck. I'm not sure which. Let's just go around. Also, eventually I want to get over the big tree area and see what's going on over there, but that's down the road. We're going to go this way. Oh, no, no. I'm pretty sure I can get back up over here. It sure will be nice whenever we get... Um, our stuff figured out where we can have these little ramps but pretty soon pretty soon we're kind of rushing to rushing to get our setup going uh, once we get some good materials built up as quickly as possible uh, but we'll get back to our house here and we're going to craft up some uh well we might just throw some leaves in there more efficient thing to do would be make a stack of biofuel which we also might do we'll see how how well the fuel that's been in here we did though uh, but then we also need to get over there which that be the next move Let's see. Okay, so it appears to have run out of power. And it made six <laughs> before it did that. Um, so let's go in here and let's make um, some bi actual biofuel. Who are you? Biomass. Leaves. Sure. Do that till you have a stack, at least. Maybe two stacks. It won't take but a second here. There we go. A little bit more than a stack, whatever. Okay, so, come in here. And that biomass should do much better than the leaves on their own. So it burns 6.67 .6 per minute. So, I don't know. A while. Uh, but now, give me those. Let's go this way. 
And we're going to see how far we can get this. Not very far, I'm sure. But while that's making anyways, we got to get this connected. Little curvy guy. And that's all we can do. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I have on me? Like, do I have just a bunch of ingots or something? Not really. Uh, but we're getting closer. The iron's getting closer. We're polluting the air a little bit. That's good. This this landscape's going to radically change with technology. You just wait and see. Um, 16. So we'll just give that a second. Maybe we'll make something by hand. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we got a little storage container here. Might as well do that. We're going to have to put some of this stuff into storage here in a second. We'll just convert a decent amount of that. And then start making plates. I just want to get that unlimited going. And then we'll be so much better off. So much better off. Here we go. Alright. Hopefully that's enough, plus what we have built over here. Because we also got to build the storage container. I got 59. That's probably enough. As you can see, the whole world's going to kind of look like this. With the, when I find a resource and I got to bring it to a base, it's all going to be centralized here. This is all going to be a big old big old building that doesn't even hardly make sense structurally, but it's going to be doing a lot of crazy shit. I'll tell you that. What? And this is all probably going to get reworked once we get the materials. But this is kind of like a triage. An emergency way of doing it. And I may use these to get over there to look for that treasure on top of that rock we're looking at here. I think I will. Now that the Noir's coming, it's slowly coming. Woo! This is precarious. Um, see, it's coming. And once it starts coming, it won't stop until it runs out of power. We will have to run power lines down there so that we can manage power from up here. And we'll build a little power plant area with a bunch of those because you will flip fuses. You have to go and manually reset after so long. We're going to have to bring the copper up here, start producing wire as well. Um, and probably what we're also going to do once this gets caught up here, um, what is you? Uh, limestone. Um, we're going to make a few other things here. So make, um, let's make me another constructor real quick. Uh, just for right this second, and then, oops, I want you to make me some concrete. Okay, so uh, put the limestone in there, and then go two, grab some power. There you go. Make me some concrete. Um, so that's going to do that for me. Uh, da -da. We're running low on copper stuff, actually. Do I have enough to make a miner? Not in, not in plates, but I will. Um, we need to get some copper coming up here, too. Uh, so we will have enough in plates. But we don't have enough to get, uh, what you call it, the conveyor belt over here. So I'm actually just going to make a bullshit conveyor belt here for a second. Okay. Just to try to see if I can get over there. I may need to get some more foot foundation um i could go down that way and then back up maybe also i can't afford it but i don't know okay so and then if you do pick those up while there's stuff on them it will actually uh put it into your inventory along with the parts to make that so Let's uh, start collecting this, actually. So we'll put a cargo container down, and then we'll run a pipe into it. And what we're also going to do is do similar right here. 
uh, remove that. So now I have much of that in my inventory, which really I need to clean up. Uh, but then we're going to go blip, 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 blip. Wait, which way's in? Uh, this way's in. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, let's put it right somewhere. I don't know. Is that good? Is that going to give me room? Probably not. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Can you go that way? No, you got to go this side. And it's kind of in the way, to be honest. But it, the theory is here. Okay, that's not going to work. The theory is simple. Hold on. Move that. Do that. Actually, hold on. Um, once the... Like, if this gets jammed up here, I want it to keep processing the iron into, what you call it, the uh, the ingots. Even if it's not making them into plates for the for that minute. Um, so actually, I'm going to rework how these are set up. If I can get that to work, I can't. But you'll work. You should. I should be able to come out. Why is it invalid everywhere I go? Uh, that's a little clippy, but that'll be fine. I'm out of iron rods. Mistakes were made. That's fine, because I can just redo this. I need to make an iron rod machine, too. But I need to get a iron splitter thing. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. If I can get a, a surplus of iron and still be constantly making plates, I can just put those into another constructor. So, um, get rid of all this shit. We, we were getting too fancy with that. I think if we just do something simple. All right, is that too close? That's probably too close. Might have to readjust this. So let's see. Oh, God. Yep. So, we'll move that over a little bit if we have to. But no problem with that. This hopefully will work. Yeah. But this probably won't. Yeah, we'll have to move this a little bit. But that's fine. So... Oops. Oh, no. Okay. Hold on. Mm hmm Okay, so. Put that into there. Okay. And then put that. Let me have to move this. Is there anything in you? There's 11 plates. Good. I tried to fight it. It did not want to fight. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Organization. I'll give that some clearance. There you go. It also kind of makes a handy little guide rail for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's good. Then you need to be hooked up to power, which you are. You're already hooked up. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, you need to be told. Uh, make some iron plates first uh, because that's fine. Give me all those. Um, you made some concrete already, so that's good. But what's your problem? Not enough concrete limestone? That's fine, because you're going to actually change to make iron rods for me, and I'm going to just give you the ingots, and then you're going to do that, and that's fine. How are you looking? 79. We were at 200 before, so that's great. I'll accept that. That's a win for me. Um, okay, so this is making iron plates. This is making iron rods, which is good. Um, we're going to need both of those in a good amount because we're going to have to go and get the copper. But we want this. So we need approximately six, exactly 64 concrete, except for we might use some between now and then, plates and rods. So technically, we really just need the concrete. 
So what I'm going to do is get as many plates as I can together and as many rods as I can together. And then let me look at some things here. Okay, so the miner cost 10 plates. That's fine. And the power cost 15. So we're not going to be able to pump it back. We also don't have enough of the copper quite yet. So let's go over here. Uh, blah, blah, here. And just make a bunch, all of those real quick. And then we'll make some wire. Although we're about out of cable as well. So we're going to have to make some of that. First, just do this, and we're going to have the copper automated next, but we got to get do the steps and have the materials to do so. Okay, so the main thing we're going to need, really, is a few few bits of cable. I don't know. Let's make all that cable from there. That's fine. Okay, so the cables will be used to run power. It's also used in a bunch of different things. Um, but let's actually just bring some power with us, since we got some good cable, and we'll build our initial power lines here. Although it does take, didn't I have a bunch of that? I thought I kept like, I don't know, a decent amount of that with me. Didn't I? I said I can make, oh, I didn't make it. I just could make it. So let's go ahead and make all that copper into that. We need that. I'm thinking we can get power run out there, and we don't need to build a second generator over there. Uh, -da -da -da. Okay, so what do, what don't we need? I could just use the portable miner, worst case, and I might. I might also use that if it lets me. I use both of those. Uh, we don't need the gifts. Um, it should be relatively safe. We don't need that. We don't need that slug. Uh, we don't need the pale berry. Well, let's keep them just in case. Um, blah, blah. Uh, that's a weird spear thing. We'll put all the biomass in here. Ore, flower petals. That's what we're collecting anyways. Um, put the Keep the concrete because we're going to have to need it. Uh, take the wood. Take that. Take that. Take that. Uh, probably keep all the rest of this with me. And so that's safely stored. Uh, no, you. What, 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 what? You're fine. Okay, so. This. Give me this. Take all this with us. Take all those with us. 52. So we're cooking with gas now. Uh, so that's just straight flow through. But once that stops working, this will fill up with iron. Also, if we ever wanted to just have a bunch of iron build up, um, we would just go in here and put this on standby. And then the track, see the track stop flowing. And now there's iron building up in here. Because it stopped on this side. It's still flowing away on that side. But we want to keep having plates. So we're going to turn that back on. And then it will continue to pump those out. Okay. Same with this. Although you're running low on ingots actually. But uh, that's fine. That's fine for now. That's going to keep going. And so are we. Uh, ba 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 all right, so I want to stretch this as long as I freaking can. Every time we build it, I don't think it goes up in length and materials by length too far. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So next time, it, oh, the wire's too long. So right here is the longest. And then, whoop. And go as long as it will let us go. Oh, I can see it too. So that's good right here. So really, this isn't going to be that long of a conveyor belt either. Da -da -da. And I'm going to try to go along the rock here. To right there. And right there. And then hopefully we have enough to do a quick little miner. Okay, then, boom, wait, boom, and the drill should be activating, oh yeah, the question is, 
The question is, can I still use one of these? I absolutely fucking can. Nice. And we can make more of these. Nice. Okay, so let's make as many of the, of the conveyor belts as we can. Just kind of along the power lines. And actually, let's try to walk it. We do have quite a bit of plates. A decent amount. Okay. And I will also add that the, uh, ooh, the what you call it, the, uh, oh, what's it called? The mining, like, machine machine? Yeah, that, uh, that requires a, uh, a little, one of those little tiny robot miners to, to build. So it's basically just a super upgrade for one of those somehow. This is going pretty good. I missed. I missed. I like this little kind of access point to walk on it, though, right here. That's helpful. Let's see. Whoop. And I'll probably straighten this up later. Which, let's set ourselves up to do that. All right, well, we're out of money, but we're pretty close. And by the time we go home with a bunch of friggin' uh, limestone, we can uh, have enough plates by the time we come back to run this up when we're ready to build our concrete constructor, which won't be too long. And we'll have unlimited concrete, too. So we have unlimited steel plates working right now. Somewhat limited steel rods until we set up a fully automated system to that. Um, but for now, it's good. All right, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? What? Okay, uh, come with me. Because we've got this rocking now. And we're going to have enough. So good. And then by the time we get back, I'm hoping we have a decent amount of stuff saved up over here. And we can get the copper automated too, and then we'll have limestone, iron, and copper all being pumped directly to our base location up here on the cliff. Can't really complain. Let's see. They're running. Although I will say the is the iron still moving? Slowly. Slowly, slowly moving through. We can split that. We'll probably do split the each feed into three once we get the splitter. And then have three smelters, and that should be pretty efficient, I think. Um, but how how have we got? We got 110 plates, so that's going to be enough to finish that. Uh, you got 48 rods. Wait, no, I have 48 rods. You have 22. Now I have 70. Um, are you backed up at all yet? I'm hoping you would be. You're not, because I'm not smelting it quickly enough, which is fine. We have to wait till we get a splitter. But, um, actually, you. I want you to start making concrete for me. And then you can have blip, all that. So go ahead and do that. You're doing that. Um, we got the plates. We should be able to finish this and maybe also get to work on the copper while all this stuff is making. We're going to have to make some more rods, but we definitely need more plates anyway, so we're going to let that happen for a while um, with our iron supply. And we can grab a bunch of iron and refill that on our way back down to get the copper, which we probably will. Um Let's go over here and finish up the concrete factory, basically, first. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to keep it high, because I can. Helps preserve the scenic vista in some ways, I think. And I am doing it kind of segmented, because when I go to delete something, it's going to delete it by the segment as I built it, if that makes sense. So if I make one big long one, it's going to delete that whole big long thing. If I make several short ones, it's only it's I'm, it's going to be deletable in small groups, I should say. Let's see. 
So actually, we're getting kind of two decent little guardrails going here. They don't really guard you from falling off, but they're there. So that's a thing. Nice. And then organization storage. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. It doesn't have to be just literally anywhere. Oh, I can't afford it. I need plates. Trust me, guys. Once uh, we just let once we get enough basic setup going, we're just gonna let the game run for like a little bits, and it's gonna just build up on this stuff. So, like, if you're watching, especially if you're watching on YouTube, next time we come back, uh, once we leave, uh, there will be plenty of this basic stuff we're building now. So that's gonna fill up with concrete now, basically. And you. Still making plates. I have plenty of rods for what I'm doing right now. That's not enough plates to get all the way back with the copper. Um, but we're going to take this, and we can get on here. We're going to just load up with iron. And we're going to intentionally skip every so often. That way, enough of it's constantly feeding in, making me plates. Um, because it is kind of... There's more iron coming up than we can process right away anyway. So, this way it's not just waiting for a big blob that it can't process anyways. It's coming in a little bit slower. But it's still coming. And so we're going to be able to feed this into a uh, rod machine, basically, is the plan. Um, okay, so come down here. And good thing I picked up my miner, because I can just... Uh, blip. Blip. And then let's... Uh, no, I need this. So this power's still going, thankfully. How you looking? 43? I don't think I have any extra for you right the second. Okay. We're getting somewhere. So, but that's powering the copper mill here, the copper mine. Not the mill. We're going to make a mill, basically. Uh, maybe that's what we'll name the base, the mill. I like that. Uh, might as well grab this present. Let's see. Okay, so we got options here. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Come out, and then I'm going to actually make a smelter right here for now. Oh, I don't have the copper. Which I can make it, though. I can make a little bit of wire. Um, that way, uh, even if I don't get all the way there, I'm still taking the time to start producing some copper ingots. Run down to my workbench real quick. Copper ingots. And then we'll make some wire. And then we just basically have to run power up back up to the base from here, which we don't really have to. It's still gonna do its job, but we're gonna do that also while we're trying to get some conveyors going up there. And in theory, if I was really broke, I could divert my iron um, system here to take copper instead, if I wanted. Let's see, so, you. No. Yes, no, no, this, no, this, whatever, I, cause this is going to move. This is all going to be centralized eventually, but for cheapness and efficiency, we're going to just have it close and now it's operating. So now, unless the grid's overloaded, which it might be, I got to tell this to do this actually. Okay, so as long as that power is there, we're fine. And we're going to bring power up. But So this is going to send out ingot ingotized um, copper. Let's 
So, oh boy. Oh boy, come on. I want to get right up next to this bad boy. But not right away. I want to have a jump on point. Oh, of course, now I can't afford at the worst possible time. But as you can see, uh, we are pumping out uh, plenty of ingots now. But so we can at least do power. I'd like to get on the iron. That was kind of the plan. Uh, but whatever. I think I can just grab this and just freaking walk up there. And then click it. But what we might do is give ourselves a little safety here. Why not? And then do that again. And now we just got to get all the way back up. But we should be able to hook up a power line from there to there. And now our reach, too, because we can tap into this at any point. Our power's reach is much higher because we have tendrils going out that way. And then over to the limestone mine as well. So um, making progress, it doesn't go away. Put it like that. I guess that's where progress is, though, if you think about it. Let's see. Let's go on up here. We got one down. Noise. Noise and twice. And boom, we're connected to the grid. Now, I can run power from here and keep all that flowing. But we need to get some plates and stuff real quick. And then we'll be able to make um, our thing. Our conveyor belt. Okay, so let's get the copper brought up here, and then, you, as you can see, concrete, iron, and we'll have copper coming next to the iron. It's going to be phenomenal. I guess I should have walked down that, which I probably will, so I can be on it while I built the other thing. Oh, no! It's very precise here. And we're just going to do the same thing while we're walking down. Why not? Because we do got to set up a little constructor making rods for the final step of our level up, which is what I'm really excited about. Okay. I need to grab onto you. And you need to come up. I'm along now. Whoops. Whatever. Is this going to permanently be too steep? Nope. Perfect. Now, give a little jump on point. Which I guess this one might as well go low for half a minute here. And we're actually going to cross under. Maybe. I don't know. This would be a little different. Because also it's hard to get up over here. So this will make it easier in the long term. Okay. Alright. A blip. We're almost there. Now we want to be concise with this because there might be other feeds coming through here eventually. Oh, dang it. Oh, whatever. Now I'm going to have to redo that. It'd be okay if it went a little lower there, but not that low. Oh, dang. Oh, so we can kind of use the poles to guide where we're going to want it. Don't need to do that now, but that's going to be good to keep in mind. Oh boy. What's happening? Okay, we're fine. The game was just acting a little weird. Um, but now along here, I mean, shit. Might as well uh, throw in a constructor. 
We got the space. And then blip. Blip. Can't afford it, but that's fine. Because you are going to make wire for me now. But you need to do this. Starting immediately, as it seems. Um, that's making wire, so that's good. Thank you. And we'll build you a container later. Why can't I pick that up? There we go. Okay. So I'll just leave that there. That's fine. Um, you're making plates for me. How many plates have you made so far? 80? How many do I have? 89. So we need a bunch. We also need to make some steel rods. So we're also going to do that. Uh, da, 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 base building. We need 80 steel rods and almost enough steel plates. So we should have enough concrete, hopefully. Yep, over 200. And we're making, we're working on the steel plates. So let's make a another constructor that we can just tell to make some steel plates for us. And I don't know, um, this isn't permanent or some iron rods, I should say. I guess it could make some steel plates, but it's gonna make some iron rods. I just need to kind of tuck it out of the way. Is my plan? Except for I can't afford it. What do I need? Cable. Okay. And again, we're going to remove this around later, but uh, let's just make some quick for the mission. Make something real quick here. Hopefully this doesn't overload our grid. We need to make iron rods, and I have... Oh, iron ore. Can we make a smelter for you real quick? But I need a few copper. That's fine. Okay, is that enough? Yep. And see how that's almost full? I need cables, though. All the cables, all the time. We're going to have to make a machine that makes cables, but really, I need to have a splitter for that, I feel like. So I can have copper coil in that. So I need... Um, Make wire. Make all the wire. And make all the cable. Oh, great. Power grid shut down. So you get to see. Uh, it's literally. Um, yeah, we're drawing too much. We're drawing too much power. So. That's fine. I mean, fuck it. Go ahead and you can assist. Actually, here. You do this. Oh, apparently I can't do that, but I can do this, so that's fine. And now... Don't blow on us, baby. We're going to burn through this fuel quick. Less than a minute. I have to grab some more. But um, we're consuming about right where we're producing, which means we're doing good because we're producing smartly. Um, give me this. Let's make, uh, make all the biomass. Make some biomass. We're going to need to go on another foraging trip here soon. Great. Yep. As soon as that this generator goes down. Um, as soon as this goes down, we blow a fuse. Nice. Noise, noise, noise. Okay. 
So capacity is 40 milliwatts, megawatts, whatever it is. Probably mega. Um, but that's fine. What are you doing? You got plates. Thanks. You're still making them, right? Yep, you're making them good. You're making good. Uh, are you making stuff yet? No, because I haven't finished you yet. Uh, you need connected. Ugh, need more copper coil. Which, I'm just going to go grab some over here. Now that we can do that. Yeah, eventually I want to make like a wall of... Um, of cargo containers that I can like, I don't know, maybe label somehow, but uh, pull everything out of and just walk up and boop, 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 and then they're all getting back fed, you know? Uh, give me all that. And so, whoop, for now, like this is all going to get rebuilt. Like we got to put proper floors in and make this a factory. So it's all going to get tore down and rebuilt, maybe off camera even. I don't know. Um, just but you guys get the basic idea of how it works this way and then if i gotta take forever kind of grinding we can keep that off the camera if need be let me know what you think about that but let's see um so no not you not you yes you give me this boom okay and then remove you it's gonna blow a fuse probably I don't know what I just disconnected, to be completely honest. But everything seems fine. I definitely disconnected something. I, I don't know. But we should be good now. Is this doing stuff? You need, ore. You need to be told to make iron. And you're going to make the rods. So that's all going to be good. You're making rods. You're making plates. We're almost at 200. We'll be at, we need to get 80 more rods at least. And we'll probably use a few. Um, and then we don't need this for this part of the mission, but we'll keep taking it. Because we need to make some cable. Which, how much copper do I have? I don't know. 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 Keep doing that. That's fine. Give me this, though. No, you're fine. Okay, yeah, but we're really just waiting for that stuff to make our uh, rods so we can shoot up our ship to space for you. Which should be a good climax. Good, we just got 200 of those. You're not powered, apparently. But it should still have been smelting. So that's helpful to get a boost on that. And then how many do we need? Let's go ahead and feed you. So we're going to do base building first, and that's going to give us all the foundations, all the walls we need. I'd like to get the splitters next, um, but those aren't anything more than what we're already making. So if we do this, this will be better. So then you just blip, give them that, blip, give them that, and give them what I got on that, and so we need the remainder, which we're making. Slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. But now... We're good on that while we wait. That's going good. And so what we can do too is we can uh, we can have this make something different at any point. But uh, we'll have this make a bunch of rods for us off camera. Uh, we'll make it have, we'll have it make a bunch of plates, and then we'll also have it make a bunch of rods later. But we will have to do a ton of fuel grinding, a um, ton of building. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you might. We're going to wait for these to make real quick, and we're definitely going to do the launch, but we might end after that um, and kind of do a little overview of what we've done. Um, but I'm still just kind of collecting up and putting them in here as I go. We're at 30 out of 100. It won't take too long. Um, but may, you might come back, and this will all be like the same capability, more or less, but re destroyed and rebuilt on this side. The past will all be the same, but they're going to be a new building eventually here. Um, look at that present down on that lake over there. That's cool. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, we definitely are going to have to get a bunch more... Oh, there's some hostile animal down there. A bunch more uh, vegetation. And we're going to need to make a way up and down. But once we launch this up, 
we can make the ramps. And the ramps are going to let us do a lot. Okay, 12. I'll show you again. Um, flip. Okay, almost halfway there with the rods. But the ramps, these, are basically just going to be a staircase for us. So we'll have ramps up and down both sides, easily accessible. We can have bridges. So honestly, one last thing I'll do once we launch that up and can build, I'll try to get us over there. Um, because that's been our, kind of our goal this whole episode. And so we're going to try to do that and get the loot that remains. Um, we also need to get down there and get that guy, which maybe we can, I think we can just walk over here. Um, let's see. Blip, blip, blip. And we can analyze these eventually, but we got to learn the analyzer. And I think that gives us some new tech and stuff. Um, cool. But so, yeah, we're just waiting for those. And then we're going to make a bridge over to that. Wait. To that. That's the only way to do that. Um, and then we'll get the loot. And there may be a uh, component that we have to power up and open a secret door on those sometimes. So we'll see about that. Let's see. Where are we at with this? Are you still... You need ore. 18. 60 out of 100. We need 40 more. Oh, boy. Oops, sorry if you're watching on TikTok. Uh, phone froze for a second there, but uh, everything else is good. How are we looking on concrete? We're doing pretty good. I'm just taking our plates as we get them, but a decent amount. Almost a stack. That's going to seem like nothing soon. Seven more. 67. Okay. Won't be long. I guess I could get us over there while we wait anyways. And just delete it. Maybe. Although we did try the conveyors and it didn't work. Um, so I guess I could go like... I don't know. I could bridge this gap. Fairly easily. And just kind of bridge a few gaps. So if I take one of these. Oh, it needs rods. Huh. needs rods so I guess we're not going to do that because it's going to require those all along the way um, but we're getting pretty close and then we'll be able to do it really easily 80 out of 100 20 more baby 20 more 20 more 20 more 20 more let's do some hardcore parkour also there's a ladder um, so you can get up here and watch things and we can also build a lookout tower I don't know why the ground's kind of flashing probably can mess with one of my visual settings um, I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty place. I mean, you see the mountains over there? We can walk pretty far over. I mean, we're on the far edge of the world, so that way, I'm pretty sure we can get in up in those mountains. Um, and you can see, pretty desertous, but I think it, the, the biomes over there by the mountains are much, much different than the desert we're in here. But there's all different kinds. There's different maps that are more, like, jungle and stuff. Um, did we just pick the deserty place? Is this at, has this gotten me the rest of these yet? 15? Almost. Five more. Two more. One more, guys. Hey. Okay, get ready. We're gonna have to go quick. Also, Mary Festmas. What am I doing? Oh, an advent calendar. What? This is mine. Oh, I'm just kind of clicking randomly and getting free stuff from this. A medical inhaler. Oh my god. Color cartridge. What? Merry Festivus to me. What are you? Power shard. Interesting. What the heck? Coal. Oh no. One coal. Well, that was number 20. So that leads me to believe quantum computer. Actual snow. Hmm. 
Hmm. Three. Ooh, we got a red ornament. Look at all this stuff. All these presents. I'm just you gotta just kinda click randomly. A wreath. Huh, <gasps> what's that? Premium Fiskmas skin. Okay. Twenty two. I guess it's gonna be twenty four. That makes sense. Six. Ooh. Fireworks. Twelve. Superposition oscillator. Often used with teleportation technology and dimensional manipulation. Oh my goodness. And I fixed some spell. Um, go to my thing. Just give me some room to work. Store off for a second. Hmm. And it looks like what is that? A coupon. A basic Fiskmas skin. Snowball. I don't know what the deal is with these ornaments. I didn't even know this was a thing. See, that looks like one I haven't opened, maybe. A special Fikmas star that signifies the productivity of Fisk across the universe. It also signifies the fact that you have nearly completed the holiday event, so it's time to get back to work. <laughs> oh. Well, cool, bro. Um, we're not done yet, though. A tree branch. I don't know. I'm going to have to go through and count all these just because. So one, two, three. Where's four? We're looking for four. I don't know. I'm just going to do a grid just to make sure I'm covering all the bases. There's four. I don't know where five is. I don't know. There's five. There's six. Um, there's seven over there. Uh, is there an eight so far? There's an eight. Oh, what we got there? Ooh. Finger gun emote. Nice. Yep, that's why we're doing the grid. More coupons. Oh, cool. My power grid shut down. Must have ran out of fuel. Okay, so we're looking for nine, too. I don't know if we already found nine or what the deal is there. I don't see a nine. Oh, it's on his face. So nine. Where's ten? Did we do ten already? There's ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I mean, we did a grid, so I think we got them all. I don't see 15 quite yet. There's 15, 16, 17. Where's 18? There's 19, but where's 18? Are we missing an 18? There's 18. There's 19. There's 20. Then we need 21. There's 25, 23, 24. We're at 23. We need 21. 21, 21. I don't see 21. Oh, there it is. 21. Okay, so... Alright, good. We got all the days. So we're done with that. Um, 
And give me back my tool. I don't know. The material stuff I need. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, give that. Give me that. Give me that. I'm gonna take that. Um, you get fed. And then let me make some more of that real quick. And we got some good rats. Uh, but, but. Just to keep our grid going while we finish up here. Uh, good enough. Well, hopefully I don't gotta go, go refill one of those other ones. Let's see here. Let's fill the power. I'm sure you guys appreciate this. Oh, yeah. Is it gonna stay on? I think so. I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah, capacity's 40, 40 again. So that's good. Um, now, what's going on with you? All right, now's the moment of truth. Ready for this? Oh, wait, wait. So I see this button. Now I'm going to smash this button. You all smash the like button. You know what to do. You know what to do. Smash. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go on. See? Yeah, it's going to take that to space. All that shit. Yep. Goodbye. Thanks for stealing my shit. And then it'll come back. Here in a couple minutes, it will land with an empty container. And we'll start the process over again for the next thing, which is going to be probably this. And this. And then you move on to this. And you just keep going all the way up to here. Um, we also can build a space elevator. And we will need to. Let's see if I can show you what that looks like real quick. Um, it's pretty big. I mean, you can see how big it is. It's very big. There you go. But that will bring shit right up and down in space. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Rona. <laughs> Anyways. Now. We got, what can we do? We can build stuff. See? We got new stuff. So let's go with some foundations. I don't know. However, it's fine. We'll do it like that. Now these really... Really don't follow the laws of physics, to be honest. You can just kind of go. Ooh, but I need to bring more concrete with me if we're going to make this bridge. I think we got enough to make a good bridge. Um, definitely should. It's just concrete and steel plates um, for all this stuff. And we can also make the ramps now. But so you can imagine... Ooh, ooh, stop. Stop it. Okay. Um, but so you also got walls... So you got like, I mean, I'll delete that, but, you know, and you can just keep going up and make a whole building. So that's what's going to happen next time. Oh, good. It landed. Uh, is we're going to build a basic setup here. Um, I don't know. Might do some of that off camera. We'll see. But uh, we are able to make these walls. But for now, we're not worried about that. We're worried about floors because we're going to go over here. And we're also not worried about them being perfect. Because we might not need to come back over here for a while. We might delete this when we're done. But let's get ourselves over there. And really, if I have the materials, I don't see what prevents me from going from one end of the map to the other with this. Uh, just in the air. It's possible. I, am, I don't know. I have not tried it. I assume it's possible. But then, yeah, there's, like, uh, different thicknesses and stuff, too. So, like, I could do that and just keep going up if I want. But I'm not going to. But, look, we got a bridge for now. And, again, it's not permanent. We're going to redo all this. Um, but let's go look. Now, this might be guarded. Finally. We're at the wreck crash site here. 
It seems to be some good stuff scattered around. Encased industrial beams, huh? Ooh. 399 coils. I hear things. I hear mean things. 307 screws. That's phenomenal. We're going to need to send those up to the arc. Okay, so this needs 35 motors to open, which I don't know that I can even make motors yet. Um, ooh, we got some 17 computers. Ooh, five supercomputers. Oh, I don't have enough room. I don't have enough room. I have, well, get rid of this. I'm taking these. And then... Anything else I can get rid of? I don't need... I don't want to get rid of any of the special stuff, for sure. That's the problem, is we got so much of this damn special stuff. Although... It can be hard just to go home. Or, actually. Just do this. What is happening out here? Is this some kind of storm? Or is this just what nighttime looks like? Heat sinks, huh? Is there anything else up here of value? Yeah, more screws. And then. We're going to get this open. We need 35 motors to repair it, which we don't have. Not yet. We don't know how many motors. But what else we got going on? Well, I see several slugs. A lot of slugs, actually. And I think those are useful. Um, there's a present over there. And the world in these little canyons here. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, we could have like a bridge that just kind of encircles this whole area, whole desert, eventually. We might have to. Um, okay, so this can just stay here. I don't care about that. Um, I don't even leave the stuff I don't need right now just to keep it safe in here. And some of these fancier things. I will take the basics. There you go. All the basics. Okay, so. That's cool. We're able to get over here. That was our goal from as soon as we found this place. Was trying to get there. And after all that work, we finally did it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, yeah. That's how you do it. Let's see. Give me foundations. Um. Might as well get the big ones. So we're going to go ahead and do something like this. And it is going to overhang. But when it, maybe it won't make perfect sense right away. But eventually it's going to be so spread out that it's just going to be supported. But, you know, advanced alien materials, whatever. Makes sense. So I'm just kind of making a, a, ga a gantry way here for now. And then can you start going down? Let's see. We're making our way downtown, walking around, walking fast and homebound. Making my way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> Making my way downtown. There we go. 
almost got done. One of our other goals was to have a ramp up and down. And we're getting there. Boom. Boom. Wait, that's messed up. Almost good, though. Oh, so close. We need to do that. And then this. And then that. Perfect amount. I mean, we need to support this, and we'll make a support and a walkthrough eventually. But we can get down here and go up the ramp. Da -da 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 And this can all be factory. We can have floors at each one of these levels if we want. Full of stuff going on. My stuff's moving awful slow. But that's fine. We're gonna need to get some splitters. It's getting gummed up. It's not that efficient until we get the technology. These furnaces, we need to be able to split. But, I mean, yeah, like, considering this was just wilderness when we started, and now we have, and again, it's still got the Christmas decorations, but that'll go away. It won't be Christmas forever. Um, but now we have everything we need, really, for the, to get started. We're making unlimited concrete. We're making unlimited plates. Uh, only limited by our power, basically, right now, but we're going to get that better, too. Um, and then you are kind of like my, you know, whatever machine, I guess. That can make me things handed handily. And we have our copper over here making, um, what you call it, uh, copper wire. And we also need to split that copper wire into two, have one go to storage and one into manufacturing cables. So we're going to do all that. But probably what's going to happen is I'm going to let this run and start generating a bunch of stuff and take these platforms and at least reconfigure the whole basic base. I might not build it all off camera. I certainly won't because it's going to be an ongoing thing, but um, just kind of reconfigure an initial setup here based on what we have. Um, so we're going to probably end this here, uh, both for the TikTok and the Twitch and the YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out and watching. And I think that uh, this could be really good. Hopefully the quality for the like uh, recorded version of this is, is, is up to par as well. So we can definitely get it up on YouTube for those who haven't seen the whole thing. Um, but let me know if you guys have enjoyed it. I'm going to check the TikTok chat here too. Uh, we're playing uh, Satisfactory. And I don't live in a city. Uh, but here we go. Uh, so one last look for you guys. In the beautiful world of lore prime that's what we named it l-o-r-e prime in satisfactory blip 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 lore prime so that was an hour and 41 minutes to have a functional base and we probably could have done it faster but that's fine so uh definitely get a lot of hours out of this because we are at the very very early game very early game very much so there's so much to do okay uh many many hours uh, but this is satisfactory. So I'll let you guys go on TikTok first. See you guys later. Uh, now there's just the cool kids on Twitch. Uh, ooh, tacos. That sounds good. Wait, chat paused you to scroll. How's Twitch doing? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, we did pretty good, I guess. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. So if you're watching on YouTube and you're getting this part, uh, thanks for coming around and watching after the fact. I think that was a pretty successful little run. And uh, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you guys are letting me know in the comments and make sure you're hitting the like button. And uh, otherwise, have a great day.